Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. How was your day? Good, it was good. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay. What's today's date? Today is July 29th, uh, 2021. Yes, today is July 29th, 2021. <laughs> that is correct. Welcome back. Thank you for being punctual. I was having connection problems. You know, the internet in my house is, is failing. I don't know why. So I have to get uh, my cell phone to get the, the internet here. So anyways, welcome back. Uh, do you remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? <coughs> We talk about the uh, present perfect tense. Okay, what is the function of the present perfect? Talk about pointing that we're going to <laughs> in the past and continue doing the present. Right, something that starts in the past and continues mm -hmm. to the moment. <laughs> right. So, what time is it in this moment? It's um, nine. <laughs> oh, three. Nine. Nine or three. So you have been in class three minutes. You have been in class three minutes. So if we go back three minutes ago, or oh, three minutes ago, it was nine o'clock. And you continue here. Like Lorraine says, um, an action that starts in the past and continues when you are speaking. Maybe it doesn't continue when you're speaking but it can happen in the future. What is the form of the verb? Past participle. Past participle. Whether the information is positive, negative, or question, the form of the verb is always past participle. If you, com if you compare the present perfect with the simple present, the simple past, the present continue, papa, all that, uh, the present perfect has less information. So that means that it's um, less complicated to use it. Solo tiene que ocuparse de una forma del verbo, past participle. No ing, no ed, no s, nothing. It's always past participle. Questions or comments? No? no question. So le presentan a alguien y usted le dice, te he visto antes. How do you say that? I have you seen before. I have seen you 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 before. Seen you before. Okay. ¿Qué le han dicho usted eso? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't remember. ¿Dónde me vio? ¿Con quién me vio? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so yes. it happens. It happens. What, yes. How do you say? Um, no, era yo. It wasn't me. <laughs> It wasn't me. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it was my twin brother, or it was, I don't know, someone that looks like me. Anyways, all right. Uh, questions or comments about the present perfect? No? No. no. Okay. So, are you ready for vacation? Yes. 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 <laughs> I am very ready for vacation. Very, very ready. Very ready. <laughs> yeah. I need it. What is it? I need it. Yeah, I need it too. I need it too. So, okay. So, um, do you have plans for a vacation? Stay home, please. Stay home. Work. <laughs> rest. Wake up late. Wake up late. Okay. 
you know, the simple fact of not working, that's a big uh, reward. Yes. You don't need yes. to go anywhere. Just a simple fact of sleeping late every day, that's a, that's a big advantage. Yeah. And I'm yeah. counting the days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, how do you say ya sea? Tenga planes o no. How do you say ya sea in English? I don't know. How do you I say clima? Weather. 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 So, listen carefully. Whether you have plans or not, ya sea que tenga planes o no, Weather. Let me yeah. put it in the chat. Right. Yeah. Weather. Mm. Oh. Or let me see. I don't know if it's one H or double H. Let me check. Let me check. Spelling. 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 Hmm. Weather, yeah, it's double H. So you spell it weather, like that. Okay. Double H, weather. So I have to pay my bills whether I have money or not, right? <laughs> so, uh, or you said, we're gonna take the exam today whether you are ready or not, right? <laughs> but it's only an example. Don't get scared. Don't get nervous. Okay, so anyways, so whether you have plans or not, you will talk about your plans that you have for vacation. Let me see this year. Thank you for being present. Your presence is highly appreciated. Seriously. You could be doing other things, watch TV, watch the news, play video games, read, talk with your husband, your wife, your children. But you say, I have to become bilingual. And that's good. All right, so here we go. Talk about the plans you have for the weekend. Practice your fluency and your accuracy. Speaking? Okay. Speaking, yes. Talk about the plans you have for next week.
Yeah. I going to the meeting. Yeah, a meeting. Uh, I going. I going to the bank. Uh, uh, I going to. I want. I maybe. I going to watch movies or series with my daughters and I going to rest um, for a day. Lousers, lousers. And then uh, she, ha she, has, she has been with my uh, with her mom. Ah, she's visiting his mom. Yes. Um, her, her mom. Her mom. Okay. Uh, and what? Yeah, no. Really like yes. that, that. Okay. Uh, sugar is... Oh, I really like the chocolate and sugar. <laughs> Okay. Yes, yes. A lot yes. of sugar and a lot of chocolate. Me too. Um, of the of your life, you you can do you can finish the career like in two years. Uh, and yes. if you're not, uh, you can finish the career uh, in, like in two, three, or four, or five, or or all the years that it takes. Uh huh. Mm. To pay it. <laughs> hey, teacher. But now I am going to have two, two years. One okay. year and a half. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hello, how are you guys doing? You okay? Talking about. Yes, I'm okay. Yes. We are okay. Adrian, the, the profile picture that you have, <laughs> where did you take it? In an airplane. In. Are you a pilot? Uh, yes, it's He's uh, pilot. <laughs> oh, you go to the <laughs> well, Lupango uh, airport? Yes, to the Lupango airport. <laughs> but I was still the, saying to Corey that, that uh, the last year that I studied uh, was in like, 2019 okay. uh, because of the pandemic. <laughs> Now right. it's difficult to, to 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 retake to take it again because exactly. of the money. Uh -huh. and, and, <laughs> and those the classes are difficult. very expensive. Uh, yes, yes, yes. They're very, very, very expensive. expensive. All the career, all the career uh, cost. price or cost, uh, costs, I can say, uh, like. How yeah, you can you say cost. Uh -huh. All the career cost is like uh, 25 or no, 25 or between 25 and $35,000. <laughs> How much time? Oh How much time? Uh, you can finish it like in two years if you have all the money. <laughs> Okay, so the, the, the money determines how much time you will study the career. And if the, and if the student is an uh, applicative person, right? Apply, okay. <laughs> uh, apply, huh? All right. Yeah, I understand that, that the, the classes to be a pilot are very expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. So you 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 can you 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 take your practices in a Cessna airplane? Uh, yes, I I already fly a, a Cessna. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. A nice. Cessna Piper Beechcraft and uh, uh -huh, that. Good, good, very mm -hmm. good, nice. Congratulations, Adrian. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let me visit another classroom. Okay, software engineer. And I've been working in IRS. I? For IRS. And IRS? Ministerio Hacienda. Oh. For six 
years Six now. Years. So when I traveled to Ecuador, uh, it was about, uh, I don't know how to say it in, in English, but uh, factura electronica. Oh. Um, the electronic okay. invoice. Okay. Electronic invoice, okay. So I, so I went to Ecuador to, to investigate about how they, they do it. How much time were you in Ecuador? Uh, five days. Five days. Mm -hmm. Did you go to, uh, what's the capital of Ecuador? Guayaquil? Quito. Quito. Mm -hmm. Ecuador, Quito. Yeah. Quito, Ecuador. Quito, Quito. But Guayaquil is in Ecuador, isn't it? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. I think it's one of the most important cities in, 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 in Ecuador. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And what it's year? Most... Uh, yeah, go ahead. It's more in, 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 on the coast, Guayaquil. Oh, okay. And, and Quito is more uh, in the center. <laughs> yeah, in the center. Yeah, Ecuador has been hit uh, by COVID-19. Yeah. They have a, a very serious situation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you did you watch the the videos where they set people on fire? Yeah, the, the corp corpse. Yeah, yeah, the corpse. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. Fire, and people yes. were desperate. Like, look, I have a dead family member in my house. Yeah. Come and get yeah. it. It was bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Yeah. So, in what year did you visit Ecuador, Billy? Really? I went on. Uh, 2018. 2018. Okay, like three years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. Did you like it? Yes, it is. It's very good. It's like like here, but uh, a little bo more advanced. Yeah. More de developed. Okay. Um, yeah, advanced, developed. Good. Good. And they they have uh, the dollar as uh -huh. their, their coin. Yeah, their currency. The, the, the currency. Currency. Uh, yeah, currency. And they told me that that the same uh, woman that uh, introduced know, the dollar. Yes, introduced the dollar in Ecuador. Uh, came here to to advise. Uh, Flores. Francisco Flores. Uh -huh. Really. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, their their culture is very similar. To Salvador. To really. Yeah. Oh my yes. God! <laughs> they yeah. they almost uh, talk the same like us. Really? You have been? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You have, you have felt in, in at home. <laughs> yeah. So, like... so oh, I'm, I'm at home. I never left El Salvador. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I felt I felt very comfortable. Okay. Good, good, nice. That's interesting. Yeah. One day I will go to South America, like you. Yes, and you have to 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 take a, a vaccine. Uh, okay, I, I already fever. have the I already have the two vaccine. Oh, the yellow fever. Yeah, yellow it's fever. A, yes, it's, a, it's mandatory. Uh, yes, it's mandatory. Okay, uh, mostly to come back to El Salvador. Okay. All right. Yeah, some countries, they have restrictions uh, for people that want to go in or they want to leave. Yeah. True. Okay, good. So let me visit another classroom. Okay, thanks. I have a, I don't know who to say, Cesaria. <laughs> Cesaria. Uh, okay. Cesaria. So, that was a good idea to take my girls with us to Syria. You have one baby, right? No, two. Two babies? Yes, I Boy, want to. Boys or girls? Girls, both are, are girls. Oh, what ages? The first one is 16 years old, mm -hmm. and the second one is 10 years old. Okay, nice. Good, good. Yes. No more babies? No. The, the factory is closed. <laughs> <laughs> 
babies, no more babies, no more production. No more babies. <laughs> okay. You know, babies are very beautiful, but they're very extremely expensive. Yes. Um, and at this time, it's, I think it's more difficult to give them uh, good things or all the exactly. things that they, that they need. Exactly. Yeah, because the prices of everything in El Salvador is going up and the salaries, you know, it's they the usually same. stay the same. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay, well, good. I'll be back. Places to know. Okay, have you been in Kukovic? Yeah, <laughs> but I don't like so much because uh, it's like a lake. Uh, I need some more waves <laughs> to be <yeah>. happy, <laughs> like a Costa del Sol. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, el cuco. I like el espino. El espino is flat. It's flat, yes. and I like it. It's a nice place. Yes. Nice place. Yeah, El Espino didn't know that that beach. Yeah. But I, I want to. What is it? People, people say that the Espino is the best beach from Salvador. Yes, yes. I had a friend, he was from Santa Elena, Usulután. And whenever he was drunk, he says, Let's, they call me Chico. Chico, we need to go to El Espino, the best beach in El Salvador. And and I was thinking about that before you said that. Yeah. Uh, so. Teacher, and do you know Valle de Jiquilisco? I know Valle de Jiquilisco. Yeah. And can you recommend me yeah, some place or I don't know. Okay, to be uh, there. Let, let me explain. I went to Valle de Jiquilisco like in 1997, 1998. Oh. <laughs> so things are very, very, very different now. Yeah, very yeah, different. Yeah. So I cannot tell you which place to go, but I heard that they have good options. Okay. Right. I. Uh, Explain to Jose, uh, Edgar, to uh -huh. Edgar, uh, my plans will, it's, uh, we're, we'll go to Pisco and there to turn to Morazan. Okay. And sleep that, sleep there and return on Saturday, I don't know. Okay. Where are you in this moment, Ailey? In Japan. Oh yeah, you told me Credisa or Amatepec. I don't remember. Amatepec, Amatepec. Right, right. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, Oriente is beautiful. Same like Occidente. Yeah. All El Salvador is a beautiful country. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. are many places. Beautiful. Sure, it's it's the most beautiful country in the world. The yes. most beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I don't need to go out another country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to, yep. Okay, yeah. so let's return to the main session. Okay. See ya. Okay, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, any questions on how to express your ideas in future tense? No? No. Okay. Uh, is anybody going to San Miguel, La Unión, Morazan? That part of El Salvador? No. no I don't. Is yeah. anybody going to Santana, Sonsonate, Huachapán? That part of the country? Chalatenango. Chalatenango. Chalatenango has some beautiful destinies. Yeah. Beautiful places. Yes, yeah, the monta mountain. Yeah, mountains. Yeah. Mounts. 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 Mountains. Mounts. Mounts. Mountains. Mounts. Mounts. Yes. Mounts. Yep. And now they're offering trips by helicopter to go to El Cerro de Ramon. Yeah. But it's too expensive. Yeah, it's like almost three hundred dollars. No, it's too much. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> no. How do you say 
50 50 no no 50. Well, they have different prices but the most expensive is like 280. <laughs> It depends it's, on the size. It's too much expensive. Yeah, that, that's the most expensive, 280 And the cheapest one, I think it's like $50. Yeah, yep. so it's another option. <laughs> but All the right. retailers, maybe, maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. something else. You know, like from, from Ilopango to Chalate, it will be so quick, so quick, but you get the experience of being in a helicopter. I have never been in a helicopter. It would be nice. Okay, yep. that's right. Yep, yep. Okay, any questions or comments about your vacation, about vocabulary, about structures in future? Yes, I have a question about vocabulary. Yes, Carla. And how do you say plaza? Plazas. Plaza. Plazas de trabajo. No, no, no. no. Plaza. Plaza like... Mundo. No, no, no. <laughs> plaza like, like, like. Like a park? Like... Uh -huh, park? Something like that. Plaza. You say plaza. It's the same. But pronunciation is different. Plaza. Okay. Ah, like elegant plaza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like when you say, okay, how do you say patio in English? Patio. 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 You don't say, oh, my house has a small patio. No, you don't say patio. You need to sound like a gringo, say patio. Patio. Oh, okay. And plaza, too. Yeah. The plaza. <laughs> yeah, plaza. Let's go to the plaza, downtown San Salvador. Yeah. Okay. Plaza. Downtown San Salvador has nice places, yes? Teacher, how do you pronounce uh, especialización in English? Specialization. Specialization. Specialization, uh, uh huh. Which uh, difference uh, between uh, a will you go, I'm going to? Okay, can somebody explain the differences between will and going to? I'm going to do it an affirmation. Going to is for plans, yes, and will. And, you, and will is you don't have yet something complete to do. You may be uh, something. Maybe you yes. will do it. Yes. What does maybe it, it, indicate? Possibilities. 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 In person, uh, in person, um, going to. 100%, eh, eh, it's when you 100%. have plans in your agenda. So if okay. you say, Francisco, do you have plans for vacation? I said, yes, I'm going to stay home. That's for sure, because I don't have any plans. Or I will say, sure, I'm going to visit my family, because that's part of the plans. Now, if you say, Francisco, do you have plans? I will say, well, Maybe I will go to the beach. Maybe I will paint my house. So if it's a possibility, you say uh, will. Wait. Mm -hmm. Other sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you say uh, cita medica? Anybody cita medica in English? Appointment. Appointment. Doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment. Appointment. Yeah. And how do you say cita romántica? Date. 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 So be careful. No voy a decir, I have a date with the doctor. Porque la siente, te metiste con el doctor. Yeah. Okay, okay. So if it's for professional purposes, you say appointment. If it's something personal, it's sentimental, a date. it's a date. date. Así como dice fecha, it's exactly date. the same date. word. Date. 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 Yeah. Date. Says, hey, you look happy. It says, yeah, I have a date. Oh. Right. In the plaza. In the plaza, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> or in the patio. Okay, an open, open place or in the patio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you bring someone to your house and you prepare food for the person, you know, in the patio. Like, look, I'm cooking for you. In it. the patio, yes. yeah. The patio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Any other questions about next week? Going to, will, or places you plan to visit? No. Okay, so I'm going to share. Let me see this here a set of questions that you will discuss. Give me a second. Okay, these questions are related with the present perfect. Um, the present perfect tense is one of the tenses that have a lot of demand. You use the present perfect all the time. So you need to have very clear information about the present perfect. Having has, uh, the form of the verb is always past participle. You always use it to talk about actions that are not finished. Uh, you never mention when you did the action. So uh, things like that. Any questions before you start speaking? No? Teacher contraction, negative contraction. Haven't or I mean, hasn't. hasn't? Haven't okay. or, hasn't. or hasn't. How do you say, deme dos minutos, no he terminado? Give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. Aha, uh -huh. why? Me. All right. I haven't, I haven't, haven't finished. finished. I haven't finished. finished. Uh -huh. How do you say ella no ha ido? She hasn't gone. She hasn't gone. Listen, she hasn't gone. Uh, it's not uh, go, it's not went. Gone. It's gone. So that's, what, that's why I'm telling you yeah. that... Uh, the, the present perfect is easy to use. The only challenge you may have is that you need to know the past participle of the verb. Yes. Positives, negatives, and questions, you always use past, uh, use the past participle. Got it? Okay. Got it, Got it people, okay. So, recreate. You will work with someone different. Remember, if the person that you're working with is not responding, is not connected, raise your hand and I'll transfer you to another room. Here we go. Practice your fluency and your accuracy.
it. Um, if a student wants to you to explain the present perfect to them, what we, what will you tell them? I didn't hear you. Ah, really? Number number four, number three. Number number three. Number three. three. <laughs> if I still want to explain the person perfect to them, but the person... what would you tell them? Our uh, an action that the present is... perfect. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. <laughs> the present perfect, we can use the past participle and the action is in. Like, like, teacher. Hello. Have you ever is, have you ever is um, an indirect form to make a question? In do you ever is more direct? Okay. Have you ever is general? Uh, have you ever been in a helicopter? <laughs> Alguna vez ha estado usted en un helicóptero? Do you ever fly in a helicopter? ¿Alguna vez usted viaja? 
So do you ever make emphasis like right now? Have you ever make emphasis uh, about any time of your life? Do you ever is like in the present? Do you ever? Do you ever? Do you ever work on Sundays? Do you ever work on Sundays? How do you say that question in Spanish? Do you ever work on Sundays? ¿Alguna vez trabaja usted los domingos? Do you ever work on Sundays? Ever means alguna vez. It has no connection with forever. Nothing, nothing. So, do you ever work on Sundays? ¿Trabaja usted algún domingo? Now, if I say, have you ever worked on Sundays? ¿Alguna vez ha trabajado los domingos? So, they are like, Similar, but they're not connected. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, good. Let me visit another class. Okay, Hey, ¿qué pasa? Nos fuimos. Hello, hello. Hey, teacher. Hi. Are you ready for vacation? Yes. I'm going not have a vacation you're not gonna have vacation no where do you work Corey? i work in the in the business and family business oh like a coffee shop oh yeah and, and i i'm sure that i will that, that you're going I to work it. yes all right <laughs> Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. okay. All right, welcome back. So all the people that are present today, all the people that are absent today, I want to see everybody uh, when we return after vacation. ¿Por qué le digo este? Porque viene una semana completa que usted esta hora va a estar dormido en la playa, viendo televisión, viendo películas. Y si no está muy preparado, dice, ah, mejor ya no voy a ir a la clase. Pero así lo voy a ir dejando, lo voy a ir dejando y pues, everything takes a sacrifice. So, if you are here today, I want to see you again uh, the second Monday of August. Any questions before you go? Teacher, when, excuse when, me. Yes, Yolanda. Do you know uh, if um, the platform is is working right? Uh, they are fixing. They are working on it. I don't know if they have completely fixed it. So I guess no. Please, so please try and let me know tomorrow so I can insist because I reported uh, the situations that you're telling me but they haven't uh, told me anything directly. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. George, you had a question? Yes, uh, when when we start or restart uh, the, the class on Monday the second The second Monday of August, the second oh. Monday. Oh, I think nice. it's the ninth. Yeah, it's the ninth. Yes, yes oh, it's the ninth. ninth. Uh-huh, so that's when we start again. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. So, Teacher, yes, so Corin. Uh, no. Could you no. help us about uh, the difference between have you ever and do you ever? Yeah, I have the same question. Okay. Yes, I have the do, same question. Do, do you ever eat mangoes? How do you say that one in Spanish? Do you ever eat mangoes? Teacher. Teacher. ¿Alguna vez come usted mango? Now, if you say, have you ever eaten mango? It's like you're asking a gringo, ¿Alguna vez ha comido mango? Teacher. So, do you ever makes reference to present? Have you ever makes reference to any part of your life? Got it? No, an, exa oh, an example, an example, and for do you ever? Okay, uh, do you no. ever, okay. Do you ever speak Spanish in class, Corey? 
Do you ever yes. speak Spanish in class? Yes, a little. Ajá, ajá. So, do you ever speak Spanish in class? Habla usted español alguna vez en clase? That's like now. Now, if I said, have you ever spoken Spanish in class? Alguna vez ha hablado usted español en, en clase? Mm -hmm. So, have you ever is more general. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other questions? Somebody was saying, teacher. Adrian has the, the rice. Her, his, oh, uh, Adrian, yes. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, you solved my, my doubts. Uh, okay, good. So, okay. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you for thank dedicating you. one more hour to improve your English and see you after vacation. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Happy Bye. Good night. See ya. Nice vacation. Vacation. Have a good vacation. 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 All right. See you later. Thank you. Later. 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 When you use uh, do you ever, uh, the verb keeps in base form. Present. Yeah, base, base form. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, and when you say have you ever, the verb is in past participle. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Billy. <laughs>